I'm just filling in the gaps. I'm not actually like crumb coating or dirty icing my cake. There's no point if we're just going to carve it all off anyway, right? Just want to make sure that all the gaps are filled. I'm taking off all my excess. I'm just going to put a little bit of buttercream over these spots so that they stay in place. This is ready for the fridge for at least three to four hours. Okay, it's time to begin on our gum paste accessories. So we're gonna start with our spoon first. This is gonna be made out of gum paste. I'm just using straight white. We're going to airbrush it silver. You can start with gray if you prefer. Okay, so I'm just gonna warm up my gum paste. Just a little bit of shortening on my hands. Okay, so you want to start with like a sausage. I'm going to dust my surface with a little bit of cornstarch. And we're going to begin to roll this out. When I roll this out, I want to make one end a little bit thinner than the other. The thinner end will be for the actual spoon, like the cupping part of the spoon. So it's almost like a, a hill, like an incline. You should feel it should get thinner right here. So I'm just going to grab my template. So all I did was I took a tablespoon that I have at home and I just traced it. And that's what I got as my template. So I just want to see if this is large enough. It is. But I do want to thin this out a little bit further. I recommend using a tablespoon for the for this cake because a teaspoon would be just too small. Try to work pretty quickly because you'll notice when we start to form our spoon into the actual real spoon, it'll start to kind of crease. Okay, so this is nice and thin and this is much thicker. So grab your template. Make sure that the fat end of the spoon is over the thin part. Now you want to firmly hold that in place and you're going to grab a straight pin and you're just going to make pin pricks all the way around the outline of the spoon. Make sure that you hold that template in place. You don't want it to shift and then you're going to have a funny looking spoon. Just take your time. Don't push too hard with your fingers or you're going to end up like leaving fingerprints in your spoon. Would you believe that I'm back where I started? Okay. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but I have an outline made in pinpricks of the whole spoon. And then I'm going to use a pastry cutter and I'm just going to connect the dots basically. Take your time. Try to get nice and close to those pin pricks. You actually want to make sure you cut as close as you can so you cut away the little notches, but you'll find it's rather hard to get like, whoop. I may have to stand up. These tighter turns are harder to make. You could try using a, an X-Acto blade or a nice sharp palette knife. I like to try to make these rounded cuts in one fluid motion. Almost did it. I'm going to start from the bottom. There we go. Oh, almost forgot the bottom. I got a bit of a curve here. It's just that's going to be hard to do, so I'm going to do it in a few cuts. So there's our basic spoon shape. I'm just going to fine tune this little area right here. Okay. Oh, in the end. You can use your fingers. Kind of round that out. 
washer and put away your remaining gum paste. 